I'm staying in this beautiful Airbnb in country Victoria. We have a beautiful view, especially in the mornings when the sun is rising, the sky turns all beautiful pastel colors. I had to make my own tripod because I left mine at home. So this one was actually pretty sturdy and I cleaned the kitchen so it was sparkly clean. I'm making a cauliflower steak that is marinated with lime and olive oil and garlic and salt and pepper and uh, with that we're going to have a little bit of sweet potato mash and chorellana which is basically a mix of tomato, onion, capsicum and jalapeno sauteed in a pan. I absolutely love the creative process that goes behind creating a dish that is just from your imagination. I take the time to do research, write the recipe, and just get the right ingredients, go grocery shopping. Like that whole process really fills me up. It is, I don't know, it's just something that makes me feel alive. These are the ingredients that we will be using today. So we're going to start by peeling the cauliflower leaves and chopping everything from the stem with a knife so you don't have any leaves left over and chop it up so you have a stable cauliflower base to start making four thick slices of cauliflower steaks and don't worry if they crumble a little bit like the ones in the end that's okay we can just add them to the pan add a little bit of olive oil to a baking sheet add the cauliflower and season it with salt pepper oregano and a drizzle of olive oil put it in the oven for 60 minutes 200 degrees celsius then we'll make the seasoning with lime juice salt pepper oregano leaves and also italian herbs if you have them two teaspoons of sugar and some olive oil and finally garlic. Mix it all around and yeah, this is basically how it should look like. Now cut the ends of the sweet potato and you can chuck those. Then cut a slice of the sweet potato just so you have like a stable base. So you put it on the chopping board and it doesn't move when you're cutting it. And then with a very sharp knife, start chopping it up my knife wasn't very sharp but you know it's better if you have a sharp knife then you can boil it and once you boil it make sure that the knife goes through really easily the the trick here to have a really beautiful sweet potato mash is to have very soft cooked um, sweet potatoes because if you don't then it'll just be a very chunky mash if you haven't peeled the sweet potato you can do it now it's easier to peel like this or you could have done it at the start but i forgot so i have to do it now then start mashing it i prefer to mash it rather than blend it because it has more texture and here i made a mistake because i should have put everything in the pot but i didn't and as you can see when i tried to mash it the <laughs> the butter just didn't mash so i put it back in the pot and yeah it was it was beautiful and creamy after the heat got to the mashed potato you can begin chopping the chives if you haven't done it yet and pour it in the sweet potato mash and just mix it a little bit just like gently fold it because you don't want to you know damage them yum this actually looks delicious and i i just had to taste it like i don't know about you but i love tasting food as i make it and this tasted super creamy buttery warm and delicious delicious okay we can start chopping the onions you can peel them cut them in half and start slicing very thin slices and just get all of them separated because it'll be easier to cook later now let's move on to the capsicum I did this really weird technique here where I was trying to get the core off, but if you know a better technique than mine, then please go ahead and do it. Make sure to take off those little stems, the white stems inside, and also get rid of all the seeds. Then you can start slicing them thinly, well, sort of thinly. Then the jalapeno, do the same thing, de-seed it, and then slice it, and that should be, that should be it for that one. Now the tomato you can cut them in quarters and then you can deseed them like this. Then slice them and yeah, that's it. First heat your pan and then pour in the oil, add the onions and just let them caramelize. 
The cauliflowers should be done by now, so take them out of the oven and start marinating them and let it sit for 10 minutes. Once the onions have caramelized, add the capsicum and the jalapeno and just mix it around. Now go ahead and try some of the cauliflower because it is delicious. Oh my gosh, look at that face. <laughs> oh wow, I couldn't get over it. Finally, add the tomatoes and mix them around. I don't know about you guys, but when I cook, I love to dance. It's one of my favorite things. Just playing my favorite music on and, and dancing freely, like, I, it's, it's my jam. <laughs> I, I was um, a bit too enthusiastic in this one, and if you wait, there's a very funny... Yeah, yeah, so I'm going down. And then I check the oven to see if there's something, because I always forget things there. But there was nothing, because I just took the cauliflower out. So, here we go! The food is ready, looking delicious. Okay, there were several mistakes when I was garnishing and plating the dish. This is attempt one. <laughs> As you can see, I was trying to see where should I put the cauliflower, like what angle. No, that doesn't work. Okay, um, let's try something else. I will just... Yeah, no, that looks gross. <laughs> and then, I, that was my second attempt actually, I was trying to do it. I looked better actually than the first one, but then I started like fiddling around with the cauliflower and I didn't like it at all, so I was like, nope, start again. So then, I had to do it one more time. Oh, I had to clean the plate, of course. And then, this is the one, this is the one that you can do at home if you do this dish. So you can make a spiral, sort of like half a yin yang on the plate with the sweet potato mash. Then add the chorellana, the sweet potato, onion, capsicum, etc. And then add the cauliflower. You can put some chives to make it look even better. And boom, here we go. That's the final dish. I would rate it an 8 out of 10 in presentation, but hey, you know, I was running out of ideas. <laughs> wow, that was exhausting. It was exhausting, it was fulfilling, it was fun, it was everything that I wanted to be. I completely lost track of time. I started at 10 a.m. and now it's 4 p.m. It just feels so, so um, incredible to take something from your mind and get it into reality, like something physical that you can actually see. I will be uploading videos every Monday. I, I completely love this, so for sure from my part, I'm going to keep coming up consistently, posting these videos, improving my skills, my editing skills and everything. And yeah, thank you for watching. I'll see you next Monday.